In this lesson today, you're going to be breaking down three-digit numbers into hundreds, tens and ones using something we call a hundreds, tens and ones frame. Let's have a look at this number here and break it down into hundreds, tens and ones. Let's think about how many hundreds we can see in that number. The clue is what position is it in? So remember that this is the ones this is the tens and this is the hundreds. How many hundreds in this number? Four. You can see it here. Okay. How many tens are in this number? Remember, that's the middle column. Five. Five tens. How many ones? Remember, that's the last column there. Six. So the number we have is 456. Let's have a look at another one. Here's the number. Let's break it down into hundreds, tens and ones. I want you to pause this, draw up a hundreds, tens and ones frame and have a go at, at filling it out, looking at this number here. I want to know how many hundreds are in this number, how many tens are in this number and how many ones are in this number up here. How did you go? How many hundreds did you get? Remember, we need to look at the position. Remembering that the hundreds is the third one across. Great, it is seven. There are seven hundreds in 768. How many ones are there in 768? Remember, that's the last one there. That's right, there are eight ones. And how many tens are in 768? Right, tens is next to the ones. So there are six tens. Okay, if you look at your hundreds, tens and ones frame here, the number has already been broken down for us. Okay, I want us to think about this time, what is the value of each of these digits in these columns? What is the value of the number that's sitting in the hundreds column? I can see the digit 2 there, but its value is not 2, its value is... 200. What is the value of the 7? Because it's in the tens column. It's not 7. That's right, if it's in the tens column, it's 70. What is the value of a number when it's in the ones column? Its value is itself. Because it's in the ones column, that is 2. So the number we're looking at is 272. Okay, we have another one here. Remember, it's already broken down for you into hundreds, tens and ones. I want you to pause it and I want you to tell me the value of each of these digits. Then you can come back and check. Okay, what is the value of the 5 that's sitting in the tens column? Yes, it's in the tens column, so that means it would be 50. What about the 5 that's sitting in the hundreds column? Is its value 50 as well? It's in the hundreds column. Remember that that means it would have two zeros after it. So it would be 500. And the 8 in the ones column, what is its value? That's right, it's 8. So the number we have here is 558. Now we're going to look at breaking down a number into hundreds, tens and ones without hundreds, tens and ones frame. So I'm going to circle a number and we're going to figure out what its value is depending on what position it's in. The 2 here. What is the value of the 2? We've got to think. We can do a little H, T and O here to show our hundreds, tens and ones column. Okay, it's in the tens position so its value is 20. What is the value of the 9 in this number? Okay, yes, it's in the hundreds column, so that would mean its value is 900. So we've got 920, and then in the ones we have a 7. What is the value of the 7 if it's in the ones column? That's right, it's a 7. Well done, let's have a look at another. I'm not going to read this number to you. I think you can do that one yourself. 
I want you to pause it and I want you to break down this number on a piece of paper and then come back and check your answer. How did you go? Let's start from the hundreds this time. So here's our hundreds, our tens and our ones. What is the value of the six if it's sitting in the hundreds column? That's right, it's 600. Is that what you got? What is the value of the four when it's sitting in the tens column? You should have written 40. And what is the value of the one when it's sitting in the ones column? That's right, its value is one. So the number we have there is 641.